guys, this guy here from YCG, your casual gamer. So we're jumping back inside the matinee sequence. I decided to do a video after all, since I'm going to teach you a little bit more about matinee. So you have the door over here. We're going to open it using the matinee sequence, and we're going to add sound to the door at the same time. So when the door opens, the sound is going to play. And also I'm going to show you how to use the audio master a little bit and the curve editor inside the matinee sequence. Uh, you're going to need this sound over here that I went to get online on the, this website that I'm showing you now. And if you don't know how to import sound to Unreal Engine, I created a side note episode on how to do so and where to get sound for your projects. So go watch this if you need to first. And if not, uh, using the trigger volume that we installed over here, we are going to play this sequence when we get inside the door, inside our level. So tune in and let's get to it. Alright, so uh, now that you already have the sound, uh, here's what we're going to do first. Uh, to get sound inside matinee sequences, you have to make sure that the sound is a sound cue. And right now we just imported this and it's not a sound cue yet. But it's pretty easy to do, you just have to right click on it and create a cue. And I'm, uh, I'm not going to go through this yet, uh, I'm going to cover that in a further uh, episode. So don't worry about it, but uh, all I wanted to do now is create a sound cue just so we can add sound to our matinee. So let's get started on our matinee. Make sure that you're selected on the factory 2-1 or the right streaming volume, uh, streaming level, because if you click on the persistent level and your mesh is in another level, it's not going to work for the matinee sequence. So now I'm on factory 2, uh, click on mat uh, cinematic and add a matinee sequence. Let's make this a little smaller so that we can see everything. So the first thing we do is, uh, like in Season 1, we're just going to right click, uh, left click on the door, right click over here and click uh, make a new empty group, call it Door Open, and add a movement track. Now, it's always important to look at your sound first to check the duration, how long it is. This one is 4.12 seconds, so now you know that you want your movement to last about 4.12 seconds. And also the end should coordinate with the green over here. And now at the last, if I want to right now I can add the last key and just open up the door all the way up. But it's not good because it, it, like you saw in the example at the intro, I wanted to add a little jam at the beginning. Like after 0.5, I added a key over here and I wanted the door to be opened a little bit and then it jams there and then it op it keeps opening up at 1 till the end. It's always better to work your way up, pressing enter to add a key, just as a reminder. It's always better to work this way with the movement because if you just go from the from like I said if you have the first and the last key and you try to build in the middle it's going to be hard to find your your track now if I press stop and play when you see it's going to be very choppy like the movement just just like the door just goes up and then it jams there and it goes so how do I make it so that it's more smooth the way that it starts and continues that's where the curve editor comes into play so selecting the movement track just click the little uh, box over here and you're going to get the curve editor that opens. And to see your curve, now we can't see it because the values are too high, click on the horizontal and the vertical lane over here just to see your, uh, your axis. Now you can hide the X and Y, which is the red and green, because we're working only on the uh, Z axis. So now you see over here, you already see that it's pretty uh, straightforward. It goes up, sta stays there, and then it goes up again. So if you want to make it more smooth, you can click on the curve you want and click on Auto Curve. And you're going to see a nice curve that happens over here. But the, what I don't like over here is that it goes up and then it goes down. So if I stop and play, it's going to go up and go down a little bit and then goes back up. Like So now that means if I make... So this here, I might have to drag it a little bit higher and I can change it to a curve too. And then let's see what that does. That's ah, perfect. Now it just jams and then it goes up to the end. Press stop. 
So now if you want to learn more about the curves, I'm going to leave a link below in the description so that you can uh, to a, a nice video that explains in depth the curve editor, how to use the user, the break, the linear, the constant, and so on. So just go check the link uh, below if you want to learn more about the curves. But we're done on my part for the movement curve. Now. I have my movement, now it's time to bring in sound. So right click on the door, uh, open over here and add a new soundtrack. Now it's very easy to dr bring your sound in. You just click on the sound, click on the sound you want over here and back over here and press enter. And there you go, your sound is inside. But now the problem is, is it's not going to be coordinated with your movement. If I press play, it's just going to open and it doesn't do the little jam like uh, you would figure it's like a little pitch change that would happen over here and if you just add the pitch over here because you can add a key to your soundtrack too and right click over here and play with the pitch like put it at 0 0.85 I think that was the one for center but now the problem is when I play it's gonna retire to sound and that's not what you want so how do you do to make it as smooth as the movement that's where the director group comes into play. So right clicking in the emptiness over here, you're going to add a new director group. And on the director group, you can add a new audio master track. Now if you go back to 0 0.5 and you add a key, now you're going to be able to play with the pitch and the volume to the appropriate uh, number you want. Now I put it to 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.85 and back at 1. I want to add another key, pressing enter, and right click and set over here back to 1. Now if I press stop and play, you're going to see it. It's not perfect, but like the lighting video, I uh, there's always a bunch of tweaking that can be happening. So don't worry if it's not perfect the first time, just play around with it, and eventually you're going to get the result you want. So we're done with the matinee. So now the only thing that's left is how to play it. And you guys remember how we do this. I like using uh, trigger volumes because it's you can choose whenever you want it to be trigger, exactly where you want it to be trigger. You want it to be trigger as 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 soon as you touch the floor, then that's where you're gonna put the trigger volume. So trigger volume, very easy. Just drag it inside. Make sure you're still on the right level, and just scale it to fit the ground over here we can put it less high like this and now it's pretty simple this part you just uh, to get inside the level blueprint for your uh, when you do level streaming you can just go on the level tab over here on the top window and click on the little control over here and it's going to open the level over here like this uh, that's my uh, previous attempt I can delete this because it doesn't exist anymore so now we're selected on the uh, trigger volume so right click and add a function an event on begin overlap over here very nice you don't need to put uh, the condition for your player because you, there's no one else that can interact with it so it's just dragging out of there now you're going to need a reference to your matinee sequence so let's go find that it should be right over here and just make sure to drag it close to your door like that and then drag back the window and right click create a reference and play drag out of there and play and there you go you're done so now if I save everything if I jump inside the level as soon as I hit the floor it's gonna open so there you have it so I hope you enjoyed this. And the next video, we're gonna cover. Uh, we're gonna start working on our particle system. So when the door was to be opening over here, you were to have a little bit of smoke, like to make it more realistic. And at the same time, we're gonna create our first particle system. And don't worry about the second door. I have a plan on showing you a different way that you can use, um, a different way to open it, to make your way to the next area just to give you more tools to work with. So I hope you enjoy this and have a good night.